Yep, after getting my butt kicked by Trudy this weekend at Donovan's Indoor Fly-In, I decided to investigate my good old flying truck and I found that if I put a new battery in here with a higher C, it just really made a big difference, like supercharged. I'll show you how I did it and we'll go out and fly it. First remove the bottom cover and then cut out the old battery, being careful not to short out the wires while you're doing it. The stock battery is a one cell and it's rated at 3C. I'm replacing it with a one cell rated at 30C which will provide an easier flow of electricity to the system. It's kind of like having bigger pipes. First I cut off the plastic protector and then removed the rubber glue and connector. Then I soldered it to the wires on the circuit board. The remaining plug I soldered on at the board. Now I can charge it through there or through the built-in charger from the transmitter. To support the wires and battery to the body, I simply melted some hot melt glue and let a drop flow down around the joints. Then one drop holds the battery in place near the front. I also put the glue on the connector wires. It provides a good strain relief. So now with the plug on here, I can use any charger that you can charge that you can set your amperage. This is a 160 milliamp battery and I'm charging it at 0.2. Alright, let's give it a try now, that new battery. Oh, that baby is sweet. Listen to that. Alright, see how it does with that new battery. Oh, it's got a ton of power. Wow, what a difference. <laughs> what a difference. Well, I can tell you, this is still on the top of my list. It's one of my favorite flying machines.